Hey guys, welcome to Credit One Day Three screencast. In this one, we're going to go over the basics of how to use Windows a little bit more, including uh, pinning things to your taskbar and uh, things like that, just to make moving around in the operating system a little bit easier. So this thing here is your desktop. Uh, it's what Windows opens to every single time you turn on the computer, and uh, you can store all sorts of stuff on here if you want to. A lot of people like to do that. Um, although I gotta say a well-organized file system is a much faster way to find things than throwing stuff all over your desktop. Uh, plus it can eat up RAM and make your computer run a little bit slower. Although given the amount of RAM that uh, modern computers have, it's probably negligible. Okay, so you see down here at the bottom of your uh, desktop, you've got this thing called the taskbar. And the taskbar contains both open programs and programs that you've pinned there. So for instance, I'm going to close some programs here. When you are running a program, you see how a little box appears around it there? It lets you know that that program is uh, open. And when you close it, that box goes away. Now, the File Explorer always stays pinned here, along with anything else that you've pinned to your taskbar, so that you can always open it really quickly. Um, now, how do you pin stuff there? Well, uh, you locate it by going to your Applications menu, like we talked about in uh, screencast number one. You locate the, the program. Let's say I want to put Microsoft Word there, because I'm always using Microsoft Word. So first I need to find myself my Microsoft Word, um, which should be here under Microsoft Office 2013. There we are, there's Word. I'm going to right click on Word and I have options. I can pin it to the start menu. It's already pinned to my start menu, so I can unpin it from my start menu if I want to, or I can pin it to my taskbar. So I'm going to click pin to taskbar and then guess what? If we go back to our desktop, look what's right there. Microsoft Word. So it makes it really easy for you to put uh, programs there that you're going to use pretty regularly, and then you can just click on it and it opens right up. Um, you can also pin things to the start menu here, and you do that the exact same way by finding it wherever it is here, right clicking on it, and then you click pin to start. And then guess what? It shows up on your start menu. And then if you decide, hey, you know what? I don't really want Google Chrome on my start menu, you just unpin it from the start menu. And you can unpin it from your taskbar because, heck, I don't need Google Chrome on my uh, taskbar either because I use Firefox most of the time. So you go back to the desktop and, oh, guess what? It disappeared. But Microsoft Word is still there, as is the Firefox that I'm always using. So that's just a brief overview of how to pin things to your taskbar or to your start menu and make your life a little bit easier. Uh, we'll get more into uh, file systems and how to use them at a later date. Thanks for watching and good luck with the class.